I wanted to talk about uh, counting alleles. On Friday, we struggled with counting alleles in a population. So I want to do that. Um, let's say we have 15 bears that have a big A and a big A. Let's say we have five that have a little A, uh, sorry, a big A and a little A. And we have seven with a little A and a little A. What we have to do here is, well, let, well, first, let me ask the question. We need to, let's say, we need to figure out how many big A alleles in the gene pool. Okay, so to do that, what we have to do is that each of these organisms, each, all 15 of these are homozygous dominant. They have two big A's. So you have to multiply that by two, and then you're going to get 30. Here, we have five organisms that have big A, little a. We're only focusing on the big A. So we're not going to multiply that by anything because five organisms have one big A. So five times one, that's going to be five. Um, there are no big A's here on these homozygous recessive organisms, just little a's. So that's going to be zero. That's going to contribute zero big A's. If you add these all up, this is running, I think. If you add them all up, 30 plus 5 plus 0 is going to give you 35 capital A alleles. And that's all.